We obviously don't want to give out too much detail, but in simple terms, the stolen card sits in an off-the-shelf card reader inside a backpack. This allows it to communicate with a chip running software written by the team and controlled from a laptop. All of this is hooked up to a fake card which slots into the actual shop terminal. The kit wouldn't have to be this big. The team's already working on miniaturising it all into a unit the size of a remote control. It's called a man-in-the-middle attack because the software is tricking the terminal into thinking the pin has been verified OK. We got permission from Cambridge University to try out the attack in one of their cafeterias. The fraudster would have a trick up his sleeve, a wire connected to the kit in his backpack. Hello. Hi. There's no need for the criminal to know the actual pin associated with the card any combination should do. At the same time, the stolen card gets a message that the purchase has been authorised by signature. This mismatch allows the transaction to go ahead. The printout states it's been verified by PIN. Saar tried a handful of high street debit and credit cards, keying in 0000 as the PIN, and it worked.